Why do we think about what we do? Why do we care about what we do? And why do we say what we do? These are questions that we ask ourselves constantly day by day that we never say out loud. Every one of us have these feelings that we don't know how to express at certain times. It may be during a relationship, a friendship, or even with a family member. It hurts. You feel that pit in your stomach and you don't know what to do with that. You're scared to tell anybody because maybe you yourself doesn't even know why you feel that. Or maybe that you do feel that, but that you are so afraid of if they find out, what will they think of you? I want you to know that you are not feeling this alone, that I go through this daily struggle every single day of my life. I can promise you that you are not the only one that is going through this. My name is Kyler Keefe and in this segment we are going to be discussing about all of the why questions in life. In our last segment, we talked about why do we think about what we do. We came to an answer of trust. That if we fully trust in God and trust in His decision, that He will lead us to where we need to be. In this session, I want to discuss with you why do we care about what we do. Caring can mean several different things by several different people. It can also go in several different directions once again by several different people. The way I want to address it today is why do we care about what people see about us? Why are we so afraid to do something because we are afraid of what that person may think of us when we do that? Jesus was a prime example of doing things that people considered to not be cool. Jesus did not worry about people saying things behind his back. He didn't care what people said. He didn't care what people did. Jesus did what Jesus did, and he didn't worry about anybody else. He didn't care about the rank that they had in their life. In the book of John, Jesus is walking with his disciples, and he is so worn out. He's so tired from the day. He sits down at the well. They had just reached the town of Sisher or Sisher, however you like to say it. I'm not really sure how it is, but he reaches the town of Sisher that is inside Samaria. And he sits down at this well. And his disciples go off and they leave. And they go to start to gather food for Jesus. In verse 7, it says, When a Samaritan woman walked up to the well, Jesus asked, Will you give me a drink? The Samaritan woman said in verse 8, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. Why would you even ask? Jews did not associate with Samaritans. They didn't talk to Samaritans and they sure didn't ask them for water. In verse 10, Jesus answers her by saying, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The verse goes on, the woman asks Jesus, where do I get this water? And Jesus says, you get this water through me. To me, this is the most meaningful part in the verse. Jesus did not care about who was at the well. He didn't care about what other people would say or what other people would do. To me, this is a trait that I wish I could do on an everyday level. I have been doing my YouTube videos since about January and these videos have been quite a whirlwind for me. It's been hard for me to get my content out there for other people to see. I have received countless different phone calls, text messages, Snapchats, and in-person communications about my videos. And I'll tell you right up front that they weren't good comments. It has been countless hate crime over and over. I've received things such as, no, I'm not interested. No, I'm not going to watch. I've even gotten F you. I've gotten don't ever text me this again. And I've even been blocked on a lot of social media because of just sending out my video and simply saying, hey, there's a new video up. You guys go watch it. It's so hard to receive this kind of hatred 
to get these messages from these people and just to sit there and just to take it and to not say anything to anyone about it. God tells us in James chapter 1 verses 19 and verses 20, He says, Be slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. He tells us not to lash out at someone. He tells us do not get angry at them and say something to them that you shouldn't say. It's so hard to do that sometimes. It's so hard to sit there and to be the better person. For me, it's especially hard and the reason why is because I am a person that I care way too much. I was talking last video that I think too much that gets me in trouble. Another trait that I have is I care too much. That gets me in trouble too, believe it or not. I take what people say to me and it goes straight to my heart. It doesn't go up here and fade away. It goes straight to my heart for the good comments and both for the bad. When I first started my YouTube, I worked super hard on getting it accomplished, getting it set up. We went to Disney World to start our very first vlog. I'll link that down below so you guys can check that out and see what that's all about. But we went to Disney World, and Disney World is a place where you go either as a family or by yourself or with a friend or with a girlfriend or with a wife or, or whatever it may be. It's a place that you can go where you can take every trouble that you've ever had and just flick it out and that you don't have to deal with it while you're there that all those troubles can just go away while you're at that place and you can just feel happy. It's the one place on earth that you're supposed to be able to feel super happy. Like I said, it took me a long time to get those videos up and running and I spent countless, countless time editing those videos. I would film all day long and we get back in the room at about 11 and I would sit down on my computer and I would edit and I would edit and I would edit and I would try to get it done as fast as I could because I was trying to get it posted for the next day so people could watch what happened this day on the next day. I freaked out about worrying if I was even going to get it up at certain times. I had one night on the vacation that my computer was not working, it was not connecting to the internet. I was freaking out. I didn't know if I was gonna get it up for the next day for people to even watch, for people to even see my video. The editing itself wasn't easy either. I had invested in several different platforms and I couldn't figure out which one worked for me. I couldn't figure out which one I really liked or which one I really wanted to stick with. After stressing for a whole week on that vacation, I finally came home from that vacation and I received nothing but negative comments. A lot of those starting out were behind my back, but I received a lot. I had worked so hard on those videos and it hurt so bad to hear all those negative comments. It felt like what I did, people didn't even care about. I wanted to say so much. I wanted to be able to get the last word with these people that said anything bad about me and my videos. But hearing this verse made me rethink what I was thinking I wanted to do. I didn't start this YouTube channel to impress everybody. I didn't start this YouTube channel to make everybody feel a certain way. I started this YouTube channel to make myself happy because I wanted to start a new hobby because I knew that was something fun that I wanted to do. I learned that it didn't matter what other people thought of me as long as I was happy, as long as I was doing well, as long as I was having a great day. It didn't care what other people thought of me. The word that I want to send you guys home with today It'll be right down here, just like last night, is the word content. Being yourself and following God's word only is the best way to cut out all of that negativity in your life. Exodus 15.2 says, The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. God is all you need in your life to help you to keep going. Again, I want to give you the chance to make another decision today. If you are tired of caring about what other people think of you, if you are tired of caring about what people say to put you down, to make you feel worthless, if you are ready to be content with God, then I challenge you 
to ask God to come into your life today and to fulfill you with that contentment. If you've already given your life to Christ, maybe you're sitting here feeling, you know, I feel some of the same ways, but I've already gave my life to Christ. I've already told Him to come in and to fulfill my needs, but, but I do feel that way. Maybe you are just tired of what people have to say about you, and you just want to live your life according to God's will. If today you want to make that decision, I will have my social media down below in the description box again. Feel free to contact me. Feel free to talk to me about it. It's always okay to open up about these things. It's always okay to talk about these things. Whether you need help or maybe you just simply need somebody to talk to, I can promise you that I'll always be there for you to have somebody to talk to, for you to have somebody that feels like they care about you. With that being said, I have one more discussion to talk to you guys about that'll be coming up in this next video. It'll be our third and final segment of this series is why do we say what we do? Until next time.